For more now, David March, senior editor for Politico, joins us from Washington. David, good morning to you. Good morning. Good to be with you. Uh, good to have you here this morning. I want to take you back seven weeks ago, right after midterms. Just about every political analyst we had on this show said gridlock was inevitable. Nothing would get done. How did so much get accomplished in such a short period of time? The short answer is the Democrats were still in charge over the last several weeks, even though Republicans essentially won the election. It's funny what these deadlines can do when there was this January 1st, 2011 deadline looming over tax cuts. Both sides decided to move on this missile defense treaty. Both sides had an incentive to move quickly. So when their backs were up against the wall, they did take action in a somewhat bipartisan way. Let's talk about those tax cuts. Was it that tax cut compromise? Was that the key in getting Democrats and Republicans to work together? It seems like that really was. That was kind of the magic elixir. The Senate Republicans had said, we are not doing anything else until this tax cut situation gets resolved so we know what tax rates are going to be on January 1st. Once that happened, once that agreement came into fruition, a lot of Republicans then said, okay, we'll, we'll sign on to the START nuclear weapons treaty with Russia. We'll go along with some of the, these other measures. And it really did seem to get things moving. You have the START treaty, and then you have don't ask, don't tell, put to bed in the same day. Forget that this kind of thing rarely happens. It happened in a post-election season. Right. And these are two items that not a lot of people thought we're really in a position to be passed. Don't ask, don't tell really kind of came out of nowhere. It really only passed because it was a lame duck session. The elections had already passed. Then it seemed like the start nuclear weapons treaty, the momentum was building the last few days. Lawmakers wanted to get out of town and they finally agreed to go ahead with it. The president fought hard to repeal don't ask, don't tell. Does this mean anything for gay marriage? The president was asked about that at his press conference on Wednesday. He said that he still favors civil unions. He did not say he favors gay marriage, but he kind of seemed to leave the door open to that. He says the public is moving in that direction. It may take more time, though. And, you know, through all of this, we saw Republicans compromise with the president. It wasn't always pretty. In fact, it was pretty contentious sometimes. Once the new Congress is in place, should we expect Republicans not to cooperate as much with the president? There's not going to be cooperation immediately. There's going to be this kind of kabuki dance where both sides they say what their talking points are. They kind of stake out their positions. Then when the deadlines are approaching, just as happened in this lame duck session of Congress, they will strike some kind of deals. In the end, both sides have an incentive to come to some agree agreement, even if it's on smaller items. They want to get reelected. They don't want to look like they're doing absolutely nothing. Speaking of agreements, we just heard in Witt's piece that Republicans will try to repeal health care reform. Then there's also talk about immigration reform. Will we see any of this happen in 2011? We're certainly going to see Republicans push to repeal parts of health care reform. They're going to at first try to do the entire thing. They can get that through the House of Representatives. They will have the votes. That will almost certainly die in the Senate and would, of course, be vetoed by President Obama if it ever got that far. Immigration is an interesting issue. Even though the Democratic plan was defeated, the DREAM Act, as it's so called, there may be some room for compromise. President Obama has made this a key issue, and I can see this some months down the line, some kind of agreement being had. But David, we still got plenty of other issues here. We've got an unemployment rate now still at 9.8%. That was the number in November. The economy is still a big issue for Americans. What else will Washington have to tackle next year? I think the biggest flashpoint between President Obama and congressional Republicans will be over those types of issues, budgetary, how much the government should be spending, extending unemployment benefits, that sort of thing. That's where I think the real fight is going to come in. There are already some predictions of a government shutdown. That may be some, a couple steps down the line, but that is going to be the most contentious issue, and it's going to go on for some time to come. It's been exciting these past couple of weeks, and we'll have to see what the new year brings. David Mark from Politico with some insight for us this morning. David, thank you so much. Thank you.